and next question underscore sir liam asks um well my question is if you have any recommendations to learn in the best way for school i really love this question so um yeah i do so i would definitely use the resources you have and especially online resources so quizlet is amazing um that's great for making flashcards and you can also find flashcards of any like maybe a class that me that um you have or somebody like or let's say like you could find <laughs> i don't mean this you could find flashcards of a class you have like that maybe like somebody else took from another school or if you like search up a question you can find like or a terminology and then you can find the that also written down so that helps with like studying and understanding maybe another definition of it of some sort and um quizlet is great and also chegg chegg helps so much so chegg study um is a great way oh my gosh i sound like i'm i'm sponsoring them but i wish i wish i was sponsored um by anybody but chegg would be cool um, I wouldn't use them, obviously. Don't, like, cheat, guys. Don't, please don't do anything like that. Don't plagiarize, don't cheat. But Chegg is a good way with, especially with math questions. And, like, for me, I took all finance and accounting classes. It was, like, a lifesaver, I'm telling you all. So, um, basically, uh, you can, like, let's say you're having an issue with some problem, from you know your assignment or you're practicing or studying and you're like oh man I can't do this so like you would type in that question and then when you go on check you won't get that exact that exact answer to that question but you will get a similar question most of the time with and then um it during the answer or solution you can find the exact way they did it and it's so helpful so what I would do is like write it down and then I would understand it and then I would go back and I mean I would go ahead and do other questions and come back to this after and then um, remember from my head oh how did I do it you know how did I like how was it done that way and then that would help me practice it and I would keep on doing that until I really understood how to do that problem so that's why it's great I know it's kind of pricey but um, I I've heard like a lot of people what they do is like with their friends or a study group they'll buy Chegg and then they will like divide it um, with uh, like the group so only not like one person's paying for it but they're all kind of chipping in so it's really helpful I know people who have done that too but it's a lifesaver in my opinion and it has helped me do pretty well in a lot of classes so I think it's good to take those resources in advantage if you can um, but yeah, I know Quizlet is free though, so definitely that's great as well. Um, superhero underscore 31 asks a few questions as well. Do you think you will sell private audios? I'm not sure. It may be like with my Patreon, I can do something like that, but it would be kind of co like I would say it would cost a good amount because it's not easy to make audios. But I would have to think of the pricing and everything. But I will update um, that if it ever happens. And then two, how long do you plan on making audios? This I'm not sure. It's I don't know. I it's I guess when maybe life gets too ahead for me and it's hard for me to actually like keep on making audios and whatnot. So yeah, there's I've never made a set time that I'm gonna make these. If, um, I'm gonna stop making audios or something at least not yet three anything special planned this Christmas I think pyro lover 26 also asked this and a few other people did too but I don't celebrate Christmas neither does my family so I don't really do much <laughs> to be honest and then four would you ever tell a future significant other other about your audios mm -hmm. yeah I I would definitely bellow of the swallow asks what is your favorite video game of all time mine skyrim so i haven't played many video games my brother would always like hog the gaming systems whenever we got it so i never had much of a chance to play many games 
but um I was really into like the fighting games so like especially because that's two players so then I would be able to play so I like Mortal Kombat um Dragon Ball Z like Budokai Tenkaichi 2 is like my favorite game growing up it was so well I think it was more towards my like middle school years but it was uh I loved that game so much and um like naruto i i would get like games like that and i would play them a lot so um yeah i know i'm not much of a gamer so yeah i heard skyrim's really good my brother used to play that a lot too but i never really played it so i'm not sure <laughs> and then 24 k hazel blossom so what's your favorite thing about christmas if you celebrate or your favorite christmas food i hope you're doing well thank you um uh like christmas i don't like again i don't celebrate it so i don't i don't think i have a chris like a favorite christmas food um yeah i i don't know like i know during the holiday seasons there's like more like apple pie in my area so i really like apple pie i know i don't think that's like a christmas thing but it's just a holiday like holiday season kind of thing when thanksgiving arrives so yeah i love apple pie oh my gosh like warm apple pie with vanilla is so good with vanilla ice cream i mean it's so good Ugh, i love it but i don't yeah i don't have a favorite christmas food but i'd love to know if anybody does like what what are what constitutes as like um a uh, christmas food please like i i'd love to know but yeah thank you for the question and then the one boss 23 asks uh what's your favorite zodiac sign i don't have one honestly i'm i'm not too into zodiac signs like i think it's interesting reading about them but i i don't know i'm like this weird gemini taurus cusp so i don't even know if i'm a gemini or taurus like people are just say either or or the cusp thing so i really don't know um and yeah i don't have a favorite one if i'd have to like pick that like either Taurus or Gemini just because <laughs> that would be me right and then what's your favorite season so my favorite season and like weather is when it's fall when it's autumn and it's like this for two weeks where the color like leaves start to, ch start to change color and not only do they start to change color but it's like the perfect crisp weather it's like sunny out but there's like a wind blowing and oh that is like my favorite weather i love that weather and it's only there for like two to maybe three weeks but i think like no more than that here and it's just the best i love that time of the year yeah and then i don't think i i don't know like see the springtime for me it's too it's it gets too much pollen and my allergies kind of go crazy and then summer it gets really hot at times and then winter sometimes it's too cold so that like perfect fall time is like the best for me so yeah i would say that it would be that time of the year and um ash levery asks a few questions which kind of content do you prefer uh, NSFW or relaxation slash role play and why? I think it all depends on my mood. Um, I guess if I'm feeling more like turned on or like uh, a little bit on the edge, like I like to do NSFW and then um, relaxation role play is just like when I'm feeling sometimes calm. But it all just depends on maybe what's on my list also to make. So it's, it, I like both. I can't really pick one or the other. And two, about relationship, which way do you prefer more, physically or spiritually? And why? Uh, or do you think both sides are equally important? I think both the emotional side, which I would say is a spiritual side, as well as the physical side are both really important within a relationship um not only is physical just um how you're with one another but the attraction there also comes from them but i think the emotionally 
being able to connect with one another is something that is very important even if you don't see or agree with the same things at the, it's still important to just have that emotional connection so both again are very important in my opinion and how do you picture your future holding the hand of your love and surrounding by your grandchildren or something else or you really haven't thought about it that's a really interesting question because I would have say I have not thought about it. I'm not in a relationship right now, so I can't even imagine myself having children. I mean, sure, maybe 10 years from now or 8 years from now I'd want children, but it's like, um, yeah, I, it's just something I never think about. It's kind of scary to think about that just because I don't see myself... Um, being in that position anytime soon so thinking about grandchildren and that long in the future is just wow like it's kind of scary to think but um I guess it would be nice right but at the same time I don't know if that's the way it'll end up but yeah I can't say I haven't I have really thought about that far ahead in my future or have you thought about going pro on content creating? Will you and why? I don't think I will go pro on content creating, honestly, um, just because I just don't see myself going that far. And also staying anonymous is, I think, pretty hard, I mean, to go pro that way. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just like what I'm doing right now, so... And then, um, are we Darby's? Uh, asks, do you have a relationship that inspires you to make your audios? Um, no, I really don't. Um, I don't have a relationship or anything that inspires me. It just kind of like comes from seeing other relationships go and then just my imagination as well. And also, are any of the audios meant for a specific kind of person? Um, no, not really. <laughs> nah. They're not for anybody. They're just kind of for the people who are either subscribed to me or want to listen to them. Yep. Just out for the public, I guess. So, um, next question. Treyaki Jude, or it's either TR3 Yaka Jud 3. Um, sorry. Don't know how to pronounce that, but... What was your most embarrassing moment while recording? Uh, like, my birds are embarrassing, the birds in my house, but they're like really annoying. So they come a lot of times in the background and then I'll have to just, uh, with my other mic especially, it just, they're so loud that it looks, it sounds like that they're right next to me. But I mean, that's not really embarrassing. That's just something I've gotten used to. But maybe I probably like burped or like, said something if I'm doing a script or something like that and the lines just have like I, I was supposed to say one thing and I say something else or with improvising or something like that I think that's also happened so um yeah I think I think um maybe something like that maybe I'll do a bloopers thing I've, I've I usually just delete it and then I'll go ahead so I don't really remember much much embarrassing things happening to me while recording but if anybody's interested, I can do like a bloopers type of situation, maybe, if if people would be interested in that. 